Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, I will have a very, very short talk about coding standards and how to combine them. Uh, just curious, is anybody using PHP Code Sniffer and PHP CS Fixer and both? <laughs> Good. Good. Okay, so something just about me. Uh, I lecture like mentor PHP. I really enjoy uh, building open source more and more last year. Uh, and I take uh, care about Czech community. Actually, we came with Ondra from uh, uh, Prague. Have you been to Prague, somebody? <laughs> Where Whoa. Nice city. Good, good answer, good answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to the topic. Uh, current state of coding standards uh, is quite messy. It's very, as Ondra said, it's very difficult to write uh, sniff rules. It's less difficult to write fixed rules, but still, it's really, really complicated. Uh, does anybody enjoy writing sniffs? <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, it depends. It depends. <laughs> that, uh, actually, when I meet some, something complicated in software, I always think, do I have just too few informations, or this is really uh, like crap? Or am I stupid? <laughs> or it's very difficult to find out which one is true? Uh, <laughs> but with coding standard, I think there is a way to uh, make it easier. So if I ask you what is coding standard, uh, maybe can I ask just on the second light? Maybe it will be better. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So when, when this is actually a uh, configuration for PHP CS Fixer, and as you, you see this is what uh, Andrea was talking about, it's strings, strings, arrays, uh, with, sorry, yeah. <laughs> and with PHP code sniffer it's similar, but it's just strings in XML format. Uh, but actually coding standards are just classes. Everything you see here, this is just a reference to. <coughs> what is this turning on? This is a reference to group of classes, and this is a reference to class. And this is the same. This is just string pointing to some class. But you don't know it, you have to find out. You have to find out, you have to parse uh, these two dots, and there have to be two dots, or maybe three, but not one, nor five. And it's really messy, but uh, all you really need is having a class. So, I've decided to make this really easy and uh, create it, uh, a tool that really works only with those classes. Uh, it uses new code, code sniffer, it's built on top of code sniffer uh, 3.0, which is not released yet, but it should be soon, maybe. But uh, it's taking about six or seven months now, so I don't know where, where it will be released. So now I have to use uh, RC version. Uh, this is how you install it, and this is how you use it. You just create a Neon file, as Ondra said, that's the same format as YAML, and you run it from uh, CLI, like this. So, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so... <laughs> Let's show some examples. Does anybody know this guy? That's awesome. Not you, that's what? That's not you. That's not me, no, no. <laughs> so in practice, it looks like this. Uh, can you see it? I hope so. Yeah, yeah this, this is just a uh, configuration checkers, <coughs> and here you write classes. This is sniff. You can also write fixers. You don't have to actually find out what is the string referring to and you don't, you don't have to Google these strings on uh, GitHub and also you can use, uh, because there's a new plugin to PHP Storm that if you start typing, for example, final sniff, it will autocomplete the class. It's the same as in PHP. 
So if you are looking for some, I don't know, array sniff or fixer, you just start uh, typing array fix and it will autocomplete classes or show you all classes that are available. So you don't have to Google uh, what are all sniffs available for arrays. This is just uh, PHP Storm will help you find out. Uh, also, there's possibility to configure them because sometimes you want to, uh, for example, have two spaces, not one, and uh, it's very difficult to configure uh, fixer and sniff, and they also vary. But still, this is just also again array property and values. Sometimes you want to <coughs> ignore a rule. You inherit, uh, you use some third-party uh, package and it has not really good uh, uh, type hinting and it forces you to uh, use uh, weak typing. So you can just skip it with very easy in the skip section, <coughs> just write the sniff. Again, the, it will be auto-completed and just copy could be the part of the file. Some sniff already have this, but not every every sniff. So if you find a great sniff, but one of your rule doesn't comply, it, uh, you're in a mess. So this is this is a solution for it. Uh, how to run it, or how it looks like when you run it? Uh, it will scan files and show you. The rules uh, in red are not fixable, and those in uh, green are fixable. In this case, there is just a void type that will be added to the method. So to fix it, all you need to do is uh, add a fix sign or fix parameter, and all fixable options will be fixed. So now you have uh, left only those issues you have to fix manually. And the last thing is, uh, it's very easy to cache these files. So the first run, first run on your project might be a bit slow, but it has no point checking file that you already checked and it's the same. So the second run only checks files that are that will be changed. Uh, and the easy coding standard remembers what uh, what errors did you made and what files have, what files have been changed and checks only them. So even if you have a huge project of many, many thousand lines, uh, the second run will be always blazing fast. So that's all for me. Uh, if you encounter a project or library that is a bit complex, it might be not the problem. You don't understand about the problem that the project is really too complicated. <coughs> so what do, no. This. Yeah, uh, so just to sum up, uh, use class over strings and trust your feeling. If you encounter some project, talk about it with, uh, with your friends. Maybe, maybe it's not the project, maybe it's you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you, if you uh, love code sniffer and PSPC fixer, try this uh, easy coding standard. I think you will love it. Uh, this is actually my first public presentation about it, so I would be uh, really happy for some feedback or for trying it out and giving, for example, some issues if something don't, don't work out. It will really, really help me a lot. And that's it. So, thank you.